losing, who's going to take our breath away? Yeah, right? Yeah. Fire and ice, baby. That's yeah. all I can say. Amazing <laughs> in that sheer mesh top with the gorgeous jeweled embellishments. But you know what? It's interesting. It looks like she puts a lot of thought into what she wears as if she's creating these characters, sort of the aloof Hitchcock woman or the femme fatale or the Hollywood screen goddess. And she got that goddess right on the Golden Globes red carpet in that right. sun-washed pink Marquesa gown with the fantail mermaid shape. Loved it. I absolutely love Meryl Streep. Her body of work, phenomenal. Sophie's Choice, Kramer versus Kramer, now this Julie and Julia, phenomenal. But Sandra Bullock, we grown to know her as the comedian, the oddball, the offbeat girl. She was seamless in her performance, Blindside, so I'm going to go with Sandra. Alyssa Leo was spot on in her performance in The Fighter, but this Mark Bauer dress missed the mark. Mm. Well, for me, it would definitely be Amy Adams. I, you could tell that she thought about this look from the hair to the emeralds to that beautiful Elrin Scott dress, the navy. It just was so beautiful. She looked like a star on the rise. Monique was courageous because she revealed that she was molested by her brother and that inspired her. She became her brother when the camera started to roll. And I think even though she is a comedian, she did have that in her and it just took this role to bring it out. And in 82 years though, the Academy has not selected a woman director. I gotta get that in. Girls gotta win. So give Avatar Best Picture. Catherine give Bigelow, Catherine director. Bigelow director. Right, Williams. Okay, Celine just had twins. She did, she looks did great. Did she have a couture Spanx dress she on? Because her body it. looks amazing. Because Celine has an amazing body. She's How? always had that hanger body. Well, Girls, she must you, have had something under there pulling it off. in. My do's and don'ts. Yes. Do love your body, no matter what size it's at. You know, okay, so you're you're in the process of losing weight, but love it at every stage. Yeah. Do tailor your clothes and do wear foundation garments, something that keeps everything nice and snug and in place, so that when you put those clothes on, you're not freaking out. Every girl can use a great pair of Spanx. Trust me, yeah. I have them. Hello, everyone from Mary Hart. I'm Rashumba Williams. Clint Eastwood's new thriller comes out one week from today. Our Leonard Maltin met with the star at his California resort, where Clint talked about his wife's role in the movie and how his young daughter always makes his day. From Mariah Carey's beverage of choice to a special studio for Whitney Houston's huge entourage, the demands some stars make are pretty interesting. Chateau de Vaux, le Vicomte, is a magnificent 17th century estate southeast of Paris. Louis XIV's finance minister, Nicolas Fouquet, built the chateau. Fouquet loved everything that had to do with luxury. Statues, tapestries, gardens, flowers, you name it. And he incorporated those treasures into the design of the chateau. Because it was so decadent and the lifestyle was so lavish, the king became jealous. And soon after the famous opening celebration, the king had Fouquet thrown into prison for life based on suspicious charges. La vin, le nôtre et le brun. All top artists of the 17th century. They were commissioned by Fouquet to build Chateau du Vaux le Vicomte. But when Fouquet fell from grace, King Louis XIV commissioned these very same artists to build Chateau de Versailles. When you think of Paris, what famous monument comes to mind? The Eiffel Tower. Now the Eiffel Tower was actually built as an exhibition piece for the World's Fair in 1889 and it was supposed to be torn down, but the French decided to keep it. Now it's one of the most visited structures in the world and it's known as the symbol of Paris. The Eiffel Tower is 324 meters tall. That's over a thousand feet. And the views, you can see all of Paris. Tower wasn't just a major tourist attraction, it was once an observatory and a radio transmission tower, and it's also been the centerpiece of many Hollywood movies. You can 
shop here, you can eat here, or you can just enjoy the view. <laughs> How much of that bad guy was That's the real Denzel? Me. <laughs> all the other stuff, all these years have been acting. That's me. No. <laughs> for years, people have been saying to me, you haven't played a bad guy when you're going to play a bad guy. So I said, okay, I got one for you. <laughs> oh, I think yes, I did. did. I think I pulled it off. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's liberating. It sexy. was. I bad guy and sexy. You were sexy. Bad guys it have was, all the it fun. Was, it was a definite... You know, Denzel Washington sex appeal on a whole nother level, right. but I don't know. See, I like why is that? Right Women here. like bad men too. Well, you know, right. what's up with that? Let's talk about that. What's up, we'll talk about that off camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you no, so much. You no, know, you ready to go now? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a princess. I feel like a princess. I've never worn a dress like this in my life, and I love it. Red carpet fashions ran from short to not so sweet, but definitely spectacular. John Travolta told me how he made his wife Kelly's birthday fantasy come true. Now where's Kelly and where's the game? Kelly is in Italy with her friends celebrating her uh, birthday present I gave her. Oh, and what was that, may I ask? To go to Italy with a bunch of her friends. <laughs> Ready? Hello. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you let her walk out of the house like this? And what do I say? I mean, am I supposed to complain? Rashumba was definitely in her element, catching up with a host of old friends on the red carpet. What's up, honey? How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. You look extraordinarily yeah. handsome. What are you wearing? Put, I'm, I'm wearing a Ralph Lauren, and I am presenting him the Lifetime Achievement Award, so I had to put it on for Ralph. Hi, lady. No, um, Shumba came to see us and of course everyone immediately started trying to figure out what was going on. And, you know, every time she comes to visit, there's some sort of method to the madness. The reason why I actually wanted you guys to kind of like go through your photos and reminisce is because I wanted you to start to think from the point of view of emotions and feelings. Because the difference between a great picture and a boring picture is the emotion that you bring to it. We're women, come on, you know, we've had life experiences and that's the advantage we have over those like 18 year old chickadees out there. <laughs> Anybody want to share some of their highs and lows? Anybody? Don't let me call you out, girls! <laughs> I want a high experience and a low experience. Well, my high, oh, my yeah. children. Do we have any pictures with your family? This one and, and this one. I don't know which oh, one. Oh, let me see. Both of those, actually. <laughs> now, see, you're glowing right here. Yeah. yeah. So you look gorgeous and radiant here. Thank you. So you radiate. Now, did you have a good childhood? No. No? Yeah. What happened in your childhood? Uh, abuse. Abuse. So, yeah. Okay. Verbal and. Okay. Physical abuse. All right. And but how does that make you feel? Does that make you want to crawl into a shell, no. stand up and clock somebody? Yeah. That's what <laughs> I want to see. You've got to feel comfortable enough with yourself to tap into those raw areas because they are your life experience. Yeah. Hello, ladies. Please welcome back our panel of judges. International runway and fashion model, Rashumba Williams. Hello again, ladies. Hello. Mm -hmm. Your body is giving the emotion. It just, just didn't quite make it up to your, you know, you expressing it through your mm. face. But I wish that we could see a little more power in the emotion through your eye. I don't agree, Robert. I'm sorry. She is there. I'm so all on board for this shot. This is modeling by numbers, and it doesn't work. Okay, so let's talk about Marilyn. I think she's hit a hit and miss. The emotion may be on, but then the body is off. My question is, can she mesh those two worlds together? Mm. It's kind of like... Can she become more consistent? Yeah. I'd like to introduce you to the judges who will be deciding your fate. Sports Illustrated Hall of Fame swimsuit model, Roshamba. Illustrated and the judges, welcome. Round one is over. If you've been told that you made the cut, please join Brian and Nico for your victory photo. If you're told you've been dropped, you're out of the competition and you leave tonight. 
let's begin. I think that you are a lovely girl. I knew that you worked really hard to win the supermodel pass, but then you didn't take advantage of that. Now I know you want to be a friend and be, have your comrades and yada, 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 but the reality, girl, is this is a competition. And I just feel that you will weaken that. Sabrina, dropping you from the competition. Now, our fashion expert for today knows a lot about looking great. She's a big time model. You've seen her in many, many pages of all the top fashion magazines, known for her exotic beauty and a video host on VH1. Welcome, Roshamba. Hello. Hello. Hello, Ro. I know that we're going to bring the makeovers out, and I just want to say, hearing the stories of these girls uh, in the letters and uh, watching their tape packages was nothing compared to actually seeing them in person. I got a chance to meet them before the rest of the team got to them. Yeah. And they came in, their shoulders were hunched, they were looking down, they wouldn't speak, they answered with one answer when you would ask them a question, their auras were dark, and it was so sad, it just hurt my heart so much. But it was like, to lose your femininity or have it buried so under raising children, careers, um, social anxieties, or whatever, that should never happen. Femininity is a woman's power. That's your magic. And it's okay to have it, even if you have children, you have a husband, you have dogs, you, have a, you wear a spacesuit, to work, it doesn't matter. Take time each day and fight for that. Keep it, it's yours. Hey everybody, I'm Rashumba Williams. This is VH1's Latin Explosion video collection. Latin music's come a long way since the Miami Sound Machine was telling you to do the conga. Now it's a major part of American culture. The look, sound, and passion can be felt everywhere. The Latin scene's been building for years. Ricky Martin's Cup of Life performance at this year's Grammys kicked it into the mainstream.